action. What is up, everyone? Welcome into another episode of Titans Tube. Uh, we're going to be breaking down what just occurred on Saturday, the third preseason game against the Pittsburgh Steelers, in which we lost and uh, did not play super hot. Am I right, Justin? Not hot. Uh, uh, yeah, not hot. We only lost by 10, though, which is the least margin of uh, loss that we've suffered. So I guess we're getting better. We're getting better. I like we're getting it. better, guys. Always looking yeah. on the bright side. That's <laughs> yeah. That's good. It's well, it's a good uh, three so far. Anyways, this is a, probably a, a bad time to shout this out, but obviously I'm wearing the new Hang TN shirt, the Mariota shirt. You guys might it's not be. It's never a bad be, time. Why is it a bad time? Uh, probably just because you know I've seen a lot of stuff trashing Mariota after mm. this last game, and I'm like, no, come yeah. on, he's still awesome. Buy his shirt. He's got a pineapple yeah, on the back. His shirt. Check it out at hangtn.com. Get yours. They also just came out with some sick new uh, Steve McNair shirts for you. Yes. Yes. I love that. Since yeah. we have I, I, a legend, a legend where the G is flipped into a number nine. Yes. Beautiful. So, so it, it looks good. I love it. It does look good. I, I would want one. So, yes, go check them out if you want some awesome Titans apparel like Justin's shirt, like my shirt. www.hangtn.com. Woo! Okay, another woo, woo. side note. Uh, for those of okay. you that don't know, this is just completely off topic, but we had the debate the other day, who is your favorite Titans quarterback of all time? Oh, Justin oh, said, do that, I'm just going to say, Justin said McNair, I said Mariota, let us know your comments, your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, lastly, I feel like a lot of people, though, weren't even alive whenever Mariota played for us. Whenever or, uh, Mariota, played for Mariota played for us. Or they were too <laughs> little to remember him. There's There's been a big gap. People that are like... 23 or older are the only ones that remember McNair playing, I feel like. Uh, so it's not a fair it's not a fair question. You were uh you were freaking uh too little to remember him. I no, <laughs> I said he was uh, he was he was my favorite okay. so far. Mariota has a chance to, you know, unseat him. I think he's got the potential. But th- anyway, that's a debate for another. That's time. a debate. I just we wanted should, to see even be a debate right I now. I wanted to see what the viewers said in the comment section below. I'm heated. Vote. I'm getting heated already. Oh, who, who's it. your favorite Titans quarterback of all time, Mariota or McNair? I feel like McNair's probably not a good time to I ask know. that though after this Mariota preseason but game. But Mariota won the Instagram vote. So check that out, Instagram okay. Titans underscore okay. two. Okay, last no. our Patreon account. We got a new Patreon, um, which is awesome. Thank a patron? you. A new patron. A new patron. Yes. A new patron. Who is it? Let me know. It is five dollars pledged by Kai Matthew Hoops. Or Ho- thank you, Kai Matthew Hoops. Or Hoopus. Sweet. It could be Hoopus. You, you, which one is it? it? I don't know. And uh, while we're at it, I'm just going to go ahead and, and shout out all of the continued patrons yes. that yes, we have supporting do. the channel. It really does help. So thank you so much. Uh, first, we got, I'm just going to run through the names really fast. Benjamin Cox, Craniac, Craniac Gaming, so a gaming channel. Maybe check them out. Cool. Daniel Druitt, Elijah Light, Eric Leonard, Jake Shook, Jared Jake Shook. Newman, Jesus Vela. I, hope, I think I said Ooh. that right. And Tom Burrows, thank you for being patrons Burrows. of Titans Tube. God, it's already happening. The earbuds are already falling out. But yeah, thank you, thank you to those patrons. It's that's <clears> awesome. <throat> um, yeah, so let's increase that number always. Yeah, if you want your name to be sure. said uh, on YouTube, <laughs> yeah, you know that's you know the how. big motivation right there. Super motivating. Mm. Okay, Justin, let's get into let's, the Steelers let's get to game. What happened? Huh? Starters well, played what happened, the whole first half. Well, I just want to know your thoughts. Tell me. Did your they thoughts. play the whole first half? I think they we pulled them a little bit before halftime. Okay, ended. maybe. Mariota didn't finish the first half. I think Blaine Gabbert was in there. But mo- most of the first half. You're right. My bad. You're right. My bad. You, you're, you're, you're totally right. Um, I'll point out some good things first, uh, good things that I saw. Uh, first of all, we have a tight end that I think made a name for himself, and he really – pushed to be on this roster if not on this roster then he's probably going to sign with another team but oh man i can't remember his first name but ferkser number 86 ferkser he was a bright spot on the offense he made some great catches from blaine gabbard scored our only touchdown of the game uh so i thought it was he he showed up he made a name for himself in this game so that was cool to see that was a good bright spot also uh robert spillane and that interception he made against uh justin hunter ripping the ball out of out of his hands didn't he almost it's, have another one? He's had a good one? preseason. He almost had another one too, right? Yeah, he did. The, there the was a tipped zone? pass. I, f- I forgot who tipped it, but yeah, Spillane got a hand on it, diving for it. Uh, he's played good in the preseason. I looked it up, and he leads our team in tackles so far, and he's fifth in the NFL in preseason tackles. What? If, Spillane. For those keeping those, 
for those keeping track of those really hot preseason stats, I know it's it's a big Yo, deal. I got a, I got um, a hot preseason stat for you. Anthony Ferkser is his name. Anthony Ferkser. I'm sorry. Anthony he was our Ferkser. leading receiver, five receptions for 68 yards, which is, which with a 13.6 yard average and one touchdown. That's good math. How's that? That's good, good, good quick that was math. Super, I was not looking at anything that did the math for me. Um, I did that math. Yeah. And, and that. besides besides those those depth guys, <clears throat> uh, those bubble roster people, um, I thought there was a couple things that I liked. I thought Adore Jackson, man, he's – He's looking great. He's, I'm, all, I'm about ready to say, and this might be a little overreaction, but I think he's probably the best cornerback on this roster. Like, I know some people already have that opinion, but he's really winning me over just every single time I see him play. I thought he had a great game. Uh, I know he, he gave up a few catches, I guess, to uh, Smith-Schuster, but his closing speed, I mean, he tackles the guy right after the guy makes the catch. He doesn't allow any yards after catch. I know he broke up a pass, maybe two passes. Um, he did. He was covering Justin Hunter whenever Justin Hunter scored that preseason, True. Re- scored that receiving touchdown. But we do know that Justin Hunter is an All Star in the preseason, so that should not be surprising. Oh. Justin Hunter oh. shows up every preseason, uh, so I'm not really worried about that. It was a perfect pass. Adoree was running with him step for step. Not much. Not much else you can do to I defend bet, a perfect pass. I bet Steelers fans everywhere are like being like, Justin Hunter is going to be the new breakout receiver this year. It happens every it year. He always shows up in preseason and then disappears to- totally, for some reason. Totally disappears. When the regular season starts. Um, and also, you know, he only made two catches, but Tajay Sharp, man, I, th- I think he's going to make an impact in this offense. I mean, he's he's in the right spots. He has good ke- uh, chemistry with Mariota. Uh, it was, I think there was a third and ten play where he caught an underneath pass with room to run. So that looked like a great scheme to and play. And got the first down. Uh, and, and, and he got the first down. He dove in there head first, <sighs> which – you may not uh, just are supposed to be able to do. That <laughs> could be a flag, apparently. But, but yeah, he, he looks good. I, I'm excited about Tajay Sharp. I think he's he's probably a, our third going to be our third leading receiver, either him or Taewon Taylor. Uh, but, yeah, but, but that, that receiving core, by the way, is just, is just getting boosted with Rashard Matthews returning now. Uh, so excited about these receivers. Let's, let's get them open and get them the ball, and let's, let's score some points in this in this regular season anyway uh so those are those are a few positives that stuck out to me a in this game posies. i'll throw it to you caleb oh, for some, I've, I've been i've been talking too long for my own for my own uh, liking so. some positives for me that stuck out i actually had in my notes that uh, i said it just says good closing speed <laughs> i didn't i thought all of our defense had a pretty good closing speed all day i mean we gave up some catches yeah. but our defenders were always right there to make sure there was no kind of run after the catch uh the rack yeah yeah, defense overall, I think this was probably the best game in the preseason yep. form. For yeah, the most of my positive notes were about the defense. Uh, another one, I thought, I thought we had some well-designed blitzes. There was a few times where we had a we had an unblocked uh, guy coming off the the edge uh, right at Big Ben, and he had to get rid of it. So either that was that could have been just a busted, you know, blocking assignment on the Steelers. I was more focused on the Titans D, but I, I thought that was nice. We don't get a whole lot of yeah. unblocked, you know rushers on the edge so and also defense made a big uh third and one stop and fourth and one stop so good things out of the defense good things that was that was good we got got some turnovers got an interception got that turnover on downs yeah very nice good stuff uh the only thing on the offense i really had was i thought henry derrick henry looked pretty powerful for running running the most yeah. part had some nice runs he did get stepped a few times but uh for the most part i thought he looked pretty solid what i wanted to see out of him and then I think dump downs to uh, Deion Lewis are going to be like the play this year. God, he can take a little dump down and just like scamper <laughs> so, for nine yards. He's so fun yeah, to watch. So yeah. fun to watch. We have not had uh, you know like a running back that can do that in some time, yeah, if yeah, ever. Probably CJ sure. was the last one that that had that little dump down breakaway speed. You could just, but yeah, yeah. I think I think we said that last week too. It's, it, we're probably going to say it every week if he keeps <laughs> yeah. doing it though. Yeah, so. Let's go I guess CJ is the only thing I can compare Dion Lewis to, unfortunately. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. What else? Did you, any other good things? Um, no. That I think there probably wasn't many, especially with that the was offense. about it. Most of the defense. I through watching the game, I was like, man, this is what I needed to see from the defense finally in the preseason. Uh, now yeah. on the other side of the ball, it was a different story. Um, now yeah. I the offense. Yes. Now I came into watching the game kind of with a shaded view over it. Why was well, it Well, because I didn't get to watch the game live, Justin. So I had to watch 
I had to watch oh, a replay dang. of it. And so by that point, I had already heard all the talk about how Mar- Marcus had a terrible game and people were freaking out and the offense sucked. Honestly, I did not think it was as bad or near as bad as most of the reactions I heard. Do you Nay. agree with that Nay. sentiment? I completely agree. <laughs> it's it's overreaction time in the NFL this year. And so, yeah, it's, it's, there's some fans freaking out on social media. I saw some fire variables. <laughs> I saw some Matt LaFleur is not the right guy for this team. Uh, I saw some let's trade for Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, should I go on? It's it's cancerous out there, folks. Don't Watch don't out. believe any of these things you might read. It, or some of these people may be you watching this channel. So shame on you for turning your back on this team. Well, first of all, for the offense, I thought the worst part uh, was the offensive line, and that it, everything just kind of trickled down from there. I mean, the pass protection was bad. Even Derrick Henry, I think, messed up on a picking up a blitz because he, like, ran right by yep. him. Maybe he wasn't supposed to pick him up. I don't know he what his responsibility was. But if least. you see a free <laughs> yeah. rusher coming at your quarterback and you're just going to run by him, you, what do you th- think is going to happen? He's going to get uh. sacked. Uh, so Mariota got getting sacked a few times. I know Derrick Henry said did have a couple good runs, but really, I mean, our, our running game for the most part was contained for the for the whole game. Um, so I think I, I, I was pretty disappointed in the offensive line. Hopefully, I don't know what the timetable on Jack Conklin is, but we do need that guy back as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, and, the, and then Mariota. He didn't. He didn't lead us to a touchdown drive in this game. So I guess it's time for us to start playing Gabbard or start thinking about the future. <laughs> no. Oh, that was um, funny, Justin. That I mean, was he, funny. You got me. He was, you got me. It's hilarious. It was hilarious. Uh, but I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, sh- you want to. We want to see more consistency out of Mariota, and and he was. He made. He made some poor throws. He made some very inaccurate throws. T- or one at least to uh, to Corey Davis. I don't know what happened on that throw, why it came up so short. Some people think Davis didn't run the right route. Other people just think it was an awful throw. Uh, but it's just it's all about the chemistry and the consistency with Mariota. I mean, we've seen what he can do. Uh, it, I think the only thing he needs now, like I've said for the thousandth time, is the consistency. So, I mean, I've, I, I think we're going to be fine. It's, there's no reason to freak out. Uh Mariota, I mean, if you want him replaced, then I have some bad news for you. Mariota, after this season, regardless of what we do, we're gonna he's getting a second contract. He's still the quarterback of the future. He could throw 20 interceptions this season, and I think Ooh. he's going to be signed to a second contract. Uh. I don't think he's going to throw 20 interceptions. But, I mean, that's just how I feel like the organization looks at him and is bought, bought into him being the face of this franchise. And let's not forget that he's still the best quarterback we've had since Steve McNair, which is – before many people that are fans of the Titans now were alive, this new generation of Titans fans. So uh, let's not let's not be so hasty to, to remember how bad things have been at the quarterback position before Mariota got here. So nothing to worry about. It's preseason. We're all overreacting. It's fine. <laughs> Every team does it. All the, all fans it's of all fine. teams do we're it. We're fine. So. Ah! We're, we're fine. It's it's ridiculous. It, it, it's crazy. Man. Those people are those people are saying, crazy. Don't, and don't that, count your chickens yeah. before they hatch with that Mariota contract. Until he gets it, I am not, you know, anything. Oh. This do you think? Saying, do you think there's this a is chance the NFL. he's not going to get At the At one point, contract? it seemed like Teddy Bridgewater was going to sign, you know, be a Viking for life. And next thing you know, he goes down in practice, and now teams are like, yeah, he was like standing, and then his yeah. knee exploded. I'm randomly. just saying, things happen in the NFL. Well, okay, in, in, pending injury, he could have a ho- horrific injury, and uh, those things are outside of his control. But as long as he's healthy, he's he's going to get a. And a you think if he throws he's gonna 20 very interceptions well this year, he's he's still going to be, he's still going to get that. That's a pretty far fetched example. Twenty interceptions you is go? almost unforgivable in this Justin day and age. Has frozen on my I, Skype screen. I'm moving. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm moving around, bro. Yes, you see saw me? me. Honestly, that's the one thing that scared me about okay. Marcus's performance from from Saturday against the Steelers was that one interception play. It wasn't the two. He had didn't he have two misses to Davis? One pass possibly got tipped, and then. I'm, you know, my viewing of the game was also shaded. I didn't. I was I was listening to it live, and I was kind of watching it off and on. I was I was in the middle of helping uh, my brother paint a room in his house, so I was doing that random preseason. Random so we don't there, watch all the preseason I did, games. I did. I did see that. But yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. And then he yeah. missed Davis later. High. Regardless, he still should have hit both those passes. But but that didn't worry me. I think he'll yeah. get 
uh, he'll be able to fix that. We've seen him fix that. It's the really bad interception decision. Uh, that reminds me of almost like a Deshaun Kaiser last year that played himself out of a job, and now he's the yeah. third string quarterback in Green Bay. We're seeing Marcus enter almost, you know, start to get that close to veteran status in the NFL. He's not a new quarterback anymore. He's in his yeah in his fourth year. And, yeah, and that's veteran. You may, you may still see some, you know, of his like footwork improving, his accuracy improving here and there, his understanding of the game. But I think plays like that are plays just, that we should just like not see anymore. And that's worries me. Yeah. That worries me that he's that's he's going to have that with him for like the rest of his career. Like, yeah, he, he may like get really accurate and still be really athletic, be very athletic in games. But he's also going to make some really dumb throws, just two or three a game. Yeah. That could just be who he is. I mean, yeah, that that is something that is something that we've seen throughout uh, his three year career so far. So maybe that is something that we're just gonna have to to deal oh. with him. You know, being inconsistent, make, make throwing up yeah. a bad pass one one or two every game. It's almost like he has five um, plays a game ish yeah. where he just like panics and just like forgets like how to go through his you know his reads and stuff and he just like tries to make a play. And but I mean, it was. It was a third down, and, and I don't know. It, it is preseason. Maybe he was just trying to make something happen, maybe, trying to do too much on that play, and he was just like, screw it. I'm going to fire it I in mean, there that and was, see what that happens. That was the exact same. Yeah, bad decision in hindsight, exact- but I, I, I would think he would take care, better care of the ball in, in a regular season game than, than what his mindset I mean, was in this just, game. You know, it could have been a preseason game, that, like mindset for him, where he's like, you know what, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. But yeah. that's also the play – that's the That's throw, yeah. Was that was just reiterating. I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, that was also the throw he he had in the Kansas City game, that exact kind of rolling to his left, throwing from his right back across the shoulder, the one that got batted down, and he caught it and then flipped into the end zone himself. Oh, is yeah. Is that exact same play, which was, a, which was a poor decision. That should have been picked off. <laughs> yeah. It and it was been. against the Steelers. It probably, so. it probably should have been. He's got he's to get rid of that. Yeah. He's got to get rid of that. Or he will be throwing just 20 get rid picks of the ball. a year. Live to play another down. Contract. He will be throwing twenty picks a year, and we will keep signing him to <laughs> more, more contracts. Picks. I mean, I don't know. I, I I'm a fanboy. I, I just love the dude. There there's gonna be there be have there'd have to be something major to happen for me to lose hope and faith in him as well, a franchise quarterback. Not not an interception in a preseason game. I'm not gonna turn my back on him after that. That's insane. He just gotta you know if he beats the anyway. undefeated Patriots in the Super Bowl, then he can throw as many interceptions as he wants every year for the rest of his career. I mean, he we just he just willed us to a playoff win in Kansas City, and we it's been since 2003 since we've done that, won a playoff game, and he throws a pick in the <laughs> preseason, and now people are freaking out. What is going yes. on? People? I'll save most of my, uh, you know, I'll reserve most of my sentiment for the regular season. If he starts doing that in the regular season, though, yeah. I'm like, man, yeah. I've seen this before. He needs to clean that up. This is year four, Mariota. Yeah. We're just we're kind of just addressing the overreaction. We're not we're not really addressing. Or critiquing Mariota's performance more than critiquing the hey, fans. Hey, I'm critiquing his performance. He played bad on su- on Saturday. Okay, can I not say that? I want him to Fine. play better. He's he's not and- he's not immune to all criticism. Okay, when he plays bad, he should be called out. And he did play bad in this game, so I'll give you that. But yeah, maybe he just had like a, a different mentality because it's preseason. Because it's preseason, everyone remember that. That's the number one excuse for all teams <laughs> yes. and all fans. It's preseason. We're going to yes. be fine. It's Trust what we have to say to ourselves pineapple to, eight. to make us feel better. So are we going to win a preseason game or what? We're only three care. right now. It'd be nice to win. I like you like winning, winning in the preseason? I don't. I want to see our backups whip up on some Vikings backups on Thursday. It's, it's not going to. It's not important. It's not important. It's really it's not. not important to you, is no. it? No. Okay. Especially it's this not. game. Sure. It's bubble spots. Okay. Gotta get it. Fill out those bubble yeah. spots. Anyways, anything left on on the game? Any any other notes that you got? Um, <laughs> nah. Okay. I can't think of anything. Nothing's okay. coming to mind. Defense looked better. Mariota and the offense did not look better. But whatever. Week one, we're gonna have like three or four more starters that didn't even play in, in Pittsburgh. Delaney Walker, Rashard Matthews. Hopefully, fingers crossed, Jack yep. Conklin. Uh. So probably another one that I'm forgetting, but yeah. As long as we have those those key pieces, let's 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 do it. Let's take care Man, of business. Even you just saying that's like, Miami. oh yeah, we're gonna be so fine come week one against Miami. Offense is gonna be a kick, and then we're gonna get blown Whoa, out thirty geez, to nothing. Man, that's just that's that's how I curse God. the team usually. I'd have a, That's 
What a bad take. Anyway, speaking of Matthews, um, like you mentioned, he's back. He's back yes, at practice. Yes, he's he's off the pup list. He's off he's off the puppy list. Yeah, we there's some video footage I saw from Jim Wyatt tweeting out about uh him practicing and him catching some passes. So good to see him back in action. Hopefully he can get caught up in this offense and be ready to go. He might play on Thursday. Who mm, knows? Hopefully not a lot. We'll see. I, I hope we rest a lot of our starters. TBH. I don't. Yeah. We probably will. That I think we always not, rest. Not starters. last year, like man. Remember Malarkey game. put Mariota and that, that first team offense out for. Did he? Yeah. Oh, all right. I don't uh, remember. Someone it, double check me, but I believe so. Because remember, we had an lying, awful but... preseason last year too. Just awful, especially the offense. Yeah, there was one game where he kept he kept Mariota yeah. in until the fourth quarter. Yeah, remember that? Because <laughs> we still had scoring points. That, <laughs> that was should just been a sign of things that to come. But but it is preseason, so yeah. Wow, we should wrap it up and tell you guys that we'll be making a video shortly of our season predictions. Season predictions, yeah, win loss record, maybe some other some other predictions, and hopefully. Get some Madden 19 going. Be soon. Be soon. Yeah. Foretell. Foretells. Yes. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Do all the stuff on the socials and uh, look at that stuff. You, you talk. Nope. Mm. Tent grinder. Oh, definitely. Def, Defcon. Okay. Over and out. Titans tube.